Prior to entering the runway for departure, ensure that the before takeoff checklist and before takeoff final items have been completed. Don't forget to set the flaps to 10 degrees. As you enter the runway, position the flight controls in the appropriate direction for the wind conditions and taxi as close to the end of the runway as safely as possible, maximizing your usable runway and minimizing the wasted runway behind you. Bring the airplane to a stop. Once you have verified that you are on the correct runway, call out Runway, then the runway number, Verified. Runway 23 Verified. Hold the brakes to make sure that the airplane doesn't start rolling until you're ready to go. Smoothly apply full throttle, then check the engine instruments and tachometer. When all the instruments are verified in the normal operating range, call out in the green. Release the brakes. As the airplane accelerates, maintain directional control and the runway centerline with the rudder pedals. Remember, the airplane is going to want to yaw to the left as soon as you start rolling, so be ready to counteract it. As your speed increases, verify that the airspeed indicator is working and call out Airspeed Alive. Once you have accelerated to VR, call out Rotate and assertively increase back pressure on the yoke. Remember that rotation speed changes with the airplane's gross weight, so it needs to be calculated before every flight. At this point, you will want to pitch up quite a bit higher than you would for a normal takeoff. For a visual reference, place the bottom of the G1000 on the horizon. This should give you an approximate pitch attitude of 11 to 12 degrees nose up. Maintain the obstacle clearance speed that you calculated prior to the flight until you have reached 50 feet AGL, at which point you should be clear of all obstacles. When a positive rate of climb is established and there is no runway remaining, depress the brake pedals to stop the wheels from spinning and call out Positive brake. Once you have cleared all obstacles, relax the back pressure on the yoke and begin accelerating to a normal VY climb at 74 knots. At or above 65 knots indicated airspeed, retract the flaps to zero, retrim the airplane, and continue to climb at VY. From here on out, continue climbing using the normal takeoff procedures. Some of the standards for the end of course check ride include Ensure that the aircraft is on the correct takeoff runway. Position the flight controls for the existing wind conditions. Clear the area, taxi into takeoff position using maximum available takeoff area and align the airplane on the runway centerline. Apply brakes while configuring the aircraft power setting to achieve maximum performance. Confirm takeoff power prior to brake release and proper instrument indications prior to rotation. Rotate and lift off at the recommended airspeed and accelerate to the recommended obstacle clearance airspeed or VX. Establish a pitch attitude that will maintain the recommended obstacle clearance airspeed or VX plus 10 or minus 5 knots until the obstacle is cleared or until the airplane is 50 feet above the surface. After clearing the obstacle, accelerate and maintain VY plus 10 minus 5 knots during the climb. Retract the flaps after a positive rate of climb has been verified. Maintain directional control and proper wind drift correction throughout the takeoff and climb complete the appropriate checklist.